This is The Briefing, a podcast presented by Musio Goodman Law Firm. The topic today is disinheriting adult independent children, and we're here with Wes Musio at Musio Goodman. He is the managing partner. Thank you. Uh, so my parent wrote me out of the will. Can I do something about it? The answer is almost always you can. You know, there's a you know, there's two um, competing values here. One is testamentary autonomy, which is the will maker's decision on what they want to do with the, the assets. That's the one side of the equation. But the bigger side, which gives more value, is the legal and moral obligation to provide for all of your, your children, not just a select group of children. So basically, the legal and moral obligation takes priority over the testamentary autonomy. And, and it's a simple matter of bringing what's called a wills variation claim to pursue a variance on the will so that you can receive um, fair compensation from your, your parents' estate. And those are very common lawsuits, seldom lost, most often won. Can I win a wills variation case? Well, the simple answer is unless you did something terribly wrong, you can. So when I say that, um, there are some situations where, where the courts have found that the uh, the child doesn't deserve anything under the will. And, you know, there's, I'll give you some examples, like if the estate is very small and the other individuals that are getting money have a be- bigger need, like say a disabled um, brother or sister, or there's other situations where you were a terrible person to your, your, your parents. Like for example, you uh, stole from them or you did something very hurtful or you sued them or, or you were just a, an antagonistic person or you were estranged from them and it was your fault. So in other words, your parents were reaching out saying, hey, come on for family dinner and you're saying, no way, goodbye. And so those are the general situations where, where you might um, be, um, see somebody lose a case, but on the whole, they're, they're relatively certain to win because of that moral and legal obligation that the, the court has determined as being you know, paramount to these decision-making. What factors does the court look at in deciding how the will is varied? There's a list of over um, 14 factors, and I'm not gonna go through them in boring detail, but I can just highlight some of them. So what it is, it's a balancing act, and and usually what the court will do is treat every child equally. So if you have three children, everyone gets a third, that type of thing. And so everything from there flows. So, you know, some factors that the court would consider is whether or not you know, the individual was abandoned, like, you know, I'll give you a good example. If you're a 12 year old child and your mother is sitting at home and dad leaves and never pays a dime towards your, you know, advancing your your life through your teenage years, that would heighten the amount you should get from the estate from your father because of his poor conduct. Or if you were estranged from your, your father in that situation and it was your own doing, like I said, that could be very impactful against it. Then you look at the size of the estate and and how much need you have financially versus your other siblings, what the other siblings situation is. So the court basically goes through a wide complex number of um, of cases and, um, or I should say factors, and it makes a determination on what is fair and reasonable with the starting point is everyone should be treated equally. What if my parent has stated a reason for disinheriting me? Does that hurt me? Well, there's, you know, the question should be answered in, in, in two ways. Number one is, is the information in the, the disinheritance true? So a lot of lawyers, what they'll do is draft what's called a declaration to the, to the court about why they're disinheriting a child, because they know the law is pretty strong on, on varying the will. And so if the testator did that, or put it in the will that they, they disinherited their son or daughter because of X, Y, and Z, if their their quest or their reasons aren't valid, then it's over. It, it's very easy to vary the will. But if the reasons are valid, then it could have some some definite um, significance. And some examples, like I've already said, is like if um, the child was a a disaster when they were growing up, they were stealing from the parent. They were like in jail. They were taking drugs, and or they're destroying the family unit, or not communicating with the family. Those things are all pretty harmful for this will's variation claim. So it really depends on what what the um, the parent has to say. But the bottom line is the court looks at it from an objective standard. And when I say that, what I mean is subject is is like you might not you might think that this is a bad thing that they did, but the average person would not. 
And if that's the situation, then, then you know, the reason for disinheritance won't hold water because the court looks at what the average individual in Canada would think about it. What is the usual award? Well, the usual award stems from an equal distribution amongst all the children because that everyone's got to be fair about it. And, and then, you know, if there's other factors that play into it, then it changes. But it usually would be, um, you know, uh, if there's three, three children, it'd be one third, two children, one half, that type of thing. But it's not a set in stone number because it is very factually based on the family unit. Then if you have any further questions on this topic or others, feel free to reach out to me at my email, musio at musiogoodman.com or give me a call at 604-336-8002.